One of the most biggest problems in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel isn't the crazy metas that exist, or the lack of a really good ban list, or the lack of bots and stuff like that. No, 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 no. This is the biggest problem in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. And before I even say it, I want you to pause this video, scroll down in the comment section, and try to predict what I'm about to say. I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. All right, the biggest problem. Anime decks are incredibly expensive. And it wasn't until actually this past week when I uploaded my Blue Eyes video, I did not realize how ridiculously expensive is this. this deck is all you are. So look at this. By the way, this is a different deck than the one I played yesterday. This is a branded version of the deck. But for some reason, Konami in the Team Behind Master Duel, every time there's an iconic card like Dark Magician or Blue Eyes White Dragon, they will always lock it behind a UR rarity. Which I feel like some should be, but like Blue Eyes is old. Blue Eyes is not a good card by itself. I feel like Blue Eyes should be a rare card. Same thing with Dark Magician and stuff like that. But it's kind of crazy to think that a lot of anime decks are insanely expensive and they're not even the best decks in the game. That's the wild part. You can literally build a tier 0 deck or a tier 1 because there's no such thing as tier 0 decks. You can build a tier 1 deck probably with like 10 URs or less at this point. You can run it like Zodiac, for example. Zodiac is nuts and Zodiac mostly uses like rares and stuff like that. Anyways, today I want to actually tackle a branded version of this deck. I've played this I think like once or twice before but I think again I tweaked it to the point where I feel like it's just right. Something that I also added is Maxi. I hate running Maxi, but I feel like going second, this is such a good card. And going second, especially if you lose coin tosses left and right, and if you're like me, that that's every single duel, you're going to need to have some kind of defense. And basically, the way I have this deck set up is similar to the Blue Eyes deck. You want to get your, your Jet out. If you can get Dictator D in your opening hand, then you can kind of get a Blue Eyes play going. But the best part is, is you should always have an option to do something with this deck. And in the ideal scenario, which just happened actually before I started recording this, was I had Dictator out, I had Mirror Jade, and then I also had Blue Eyes Jet on the field. And then they try to attack me, and you know what happens next. I make them attack my Jet and then send their card back into their hand. So yeah, on paper, this should work really, really well. But again, since I hit the record button right now, it's probably going to be Brick City for me, like it normally is, and we'll, we'll do our best here. Once again, I will be taking this in casual first, just because, again, I'm still in the middle of tweaking it. Once I feel like it's ranked ready, which, honestly, this should be ranked ready. Mirror Jet on its own is enough to, like, damn near solo many decks out there. Oh, we went to coin toss. Let's get it. Something I like to do in my videos also is show you the best of all worlds. So if we do brick in this, this, is, this will be part of the video. It's also a little bit more realistic because you're not always going to have the optimal combo on your opening hand and stuff like that. So, yeah. Whatever happens, happens is basically what I'm saying. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and do Dictator of D first. What are you bringing out? What you, what you, what you trying to get into for real, for real? Nothing. All right, and then we bring you out. Now the question is, how important will Ghost Bell be in this situation? I will summon Ghost Bell. I feel like I'm going to regret this. I will activate Sage now. And that's it. Okay, I'm going to immediately frame one, go into max C, and I don't recommend doing this. You should never do this. But the only reason why I, almost every single time I will frame one play max C is because there are cards that will basically be summoned and then you won't be able to like respond basically for example let's say they have alternative in their hand they can summon that and then it won't give you a chance to play max c so let's go right let's go right now real fast let's go right now and let's see what they do here what do you have in your hand i want to say i honestly i don't know all right we, we drawing a lure of darkness what are we playing? Oh, Thunder Dragons! I can bounce the Thunder Dragon back into their hand. And then I also have Imprimp to stop me from getting blown up by whatever possible effect comes out. I don't know the full counter to the Thunder Dragons yet. That's fine. This is what happens when you don't read the game. Game? <laughs> this is when you don't read the cards in the game. Okay, so they're going to add Thunder Dragon to this stuff. The thing that makes this deck so unstoppable most of the time is the fact that usually you'll dump so many thunder cards into your graveyard so by the time thunder dragon colossus comes out you kind of can't really deal with him because he just he's it's invincible oh no however that needs to be stopped that sucks we gotta stop that one right now uh-uh uh-uh no way that would have been terrible <laughs> that would have been terrible thunder dragon fusion that's fine i'm not too worried about this the only thing I'm going to be worried about is, I'm trying to think, does, can it get Titan out? I don't think they can get Titan out, right? <laughs> There's Titan. <laughs> There's Titan. We got still under Maxi, so we are going to be drawing, which is nice. And they still have Branded Fusion. No way. 
Albion. You're going to give me a lot of cards here. You're going to give me a lot of cards. I don't know if I necessarily agree here. But they will get a Banish off, which sucks. Actually, doesn't this kind of clash with Thunder Dragons? Because you want to have Thunder cards in your graveyard. And if you're sending it back into your deck so you can summon your stuff, it's not bad. Here's Lebellion. All right, here's Mirror Jade. Mirror Jade is absolutely going to banish my blue eyes here. It's a lot of damage too, man. It's a lot of damage. But I am in a good position here, right? Does the math check out? I don't die here, do I? No, I think I die here, don't I? I do die here. Well, no, no, they can't attack with Albion, right? 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 Oh no. They can attack with Albion! <laughs> All right, their deck was better. Their brand new deck was way better than mine. And we got the coin loss. Coin toss or coin loss? So it's coin loss for me. Going first. Let's see how that, how that plays out. Either I'm about to explode. Oh, going second. This is such a. Oh, do I just do I just sacrifice it? I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm gonna just set this and just end my turn. This is a fantastic turn two hand. It's actually insane. Immediately into Maxi. Fluffles. I'm letting that all, I'm gonna let all that go through. Like I might regret that at some point, but we're gonna let that go through. Go ahead. Cyber emergency. Now we're gonna get into well we're stopping that one. Cyber emergency, I know you always gotta like say no to. Imagine they drew all that stuff and they still can't play. There we go. Alright, do I... Yeah, you, you can go ahead. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's see if, if they're smart enough to avoid the middle column. Stupid! <laughs> Let's do it. And that's gonna take away the Cyber Dragon name, too. For core. Wait, you already played this, though. Once per turn. This is gonna do nothing. They can still do this? Oh, it's once per card, probably, right? Yeah, it's not like a hard once per turn. It's once per card. All right. You can also tell that they're probably still learning this. Editing wise, you're not gonna see this, but they're taking really long between every single turn. Hey, we got a card. <laughs> Finally. Watch them uh, make me draw into like nothing for now. I was gonna say, watch them make me draw into an imperm. Oh, they're just gonna go for attack. Smart. You wanna kind of avoid doing too many plays. But I also feel like they're probably gonna. I'm not an expert on Cyber Dragons, but couldn't you have like OTK'd me still somehow with, with these three? Okay, they're bringing out. Okay, you're still gonna give me a lot of cards here. And then there's the ghost spell. Oh, I hope it was worth it. Did you? Melia Awakened Dragon is fantastic here. Okay, now here's a question. How do I wanna go about this? I have options. So first things first, let's bring out Dictator or D. So we play Melody. Yeah, I'll do Melody. I'll drop. I'll drop all bass. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I can just win too. Now I'll summon you. Let's go ahead and grab my stuff. Notice how I'm not activating Dictator D's effect because I need to send blue, <laughs> blue eyes away here. Branded Fusion. We'll bring Lebelia out into Tyrant Dragon. They're probably expecting. Mirror Jade to come out here, but it's not going to be Mirror Jade. So, Fallen Albaz and Blue Eyes. They're going to be confused. Like, huh? I'm not going to read. I will attack everything. Yes. Thank you for bringing my Imperm back and setting it. <laughs> We're seeing a lot of Tyrant play in this video. I didn't expect that. All right. I think we'll end with this one. Hopefully, we can get something... Good, a good back and forth. Again, you never know what to expect with casual because a lot of times you get people who are just testing out the deck. Sometimes they're playing random decks. Ooh. That's a pretty good hand. I'm going to send uh, alternative out first. Let's see if I made the right call here. I literally can't stand this person. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'll just discard blue eyes. I have two imperms to actually help. And we'll grab... Honestly, Jet and Jet. Because we have our Blue Eyes. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do Jet and Jet. 
Because I'm, I'm going to minimize summons here. So, you know, I should have... I should have normal summoned. I should have normal summoned. What am I doing? Rhyme, you idiot. You idiot. You idiot. You idiot. You idiot. Oh, I'm so stupid. I should have normal summoned that. I should have normal summoned that. Can they play through two imperms? Let's see what happens here. God damn it, man. I'm so, I'm so dumb. Be playing. Oh. I will hit this one now. With Imperm. Because we have the second one. There's one. And I'll save this one for Vion if I have to. If it comes down to it. They already normal summon though. Fusion Destiny kind of sucks. But. I'm not worried. If they if they pop DPE right now. They're popping it. Perfect. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. What are you popping? What are you popping? What are you popping? Thank you. My second jet comes out now. <laughs> they didn't expect that. They did not expect the second one. Even though they clearly saw me grab them. I thought about popping Imperm. On DPE, but I knew I had this in my hand still, so I was kind of in a good position here. Straddles. So no for me, bro. Well, I have to do that anyways. Okay, they're going to battle, so they already lost here. You're going to attack my jet, which will send this back into your hand. Oh, your extra deck, and now you just lose. Now you just lose. They do. This is fantastic. Oh, look at this. Watch this play. Watch this play. Send blue eyes away. We're going to summon blue eyes. And now we just... You know what? I could win here, but I'd, I'd rather not. I'd rather just do this. I'd rather just do this to show you what happens when you have two of these on the field. This is actually a disgusting combo. Do I let them live? Do I let them live? I'm not letting them live. <laughs> but that situation would have been so difficult to overcome. If they would have had like, I don't know, maybe a uh, an Imperm or something. And then they hit my my Dictator D and then just proceeded to rail me that way. They could have done that. But like, this, that field is so hard to overcome. Unless, of course, you hit me with like a Kaiju or something. Or banish my entire field somehow. Because you can't destroy... Any card in the field because the Jets protect each other and stuff like that. And then Dictator D dictates who you attack. That Yeah, that was rough. That was rough. All right. I think I'm going to end it right here. Uh, again, stay tuned for progression coming out tomorrow. I also have a progression 2.0 potentially. We'll see what happens. Basically, I'll, I'll give you the story. Me and C-Reacts recorded progression, and he wanted to do a second one with a similar deck. So I said if enough people want to see it, which you can let me know by hitting that thumbs up tomorrow, we'll upload that the next day. But if not, we'll do something else. I don't really know. But thank you guys for watching. My name is Rhyme Style. I'll see you in the comment section below. Peace.